Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and I'm here with Matt Rogers. What's up? How are you? I'm great, man. How are you? I'm well. I'm I'm good now. We're gonna have a damn good time talking. I yeah. can just feel it. Gotta just, saddle up. Absolutely. It's day two. It's, it's time day to two. Ride. How was day one for you? <laughs> man, day one was excellent. I had a great time. I got to uh, re re uh, connect with a lot of friends. You know, back here, coming back and forth through the green room. Mm, right. And, and I got to meet a lot of folks from all over the country and. Mm -hmm. It was, it was cool because some folks you're meeting them for the first time, but but other folks that you had no idea your music had that kind of reach. Like right. I met some folks from, from Washington State, and I'm from Georgia. So, I, I mean, like, and they were they were like <laughs> legitimate fans. So that was really, really cool. Yeah. And um, I've, at my booth, I have a – my single is called Forgetting You Was Fun. So there's a lot of towns on there where you're traveling to maybe right. get over that X. And uh, so we did a little map thing. So everybody we're meeting, we're letting them put stars all over oh, the, cool. the map. So it's cool to see where, where folks are coming from, you know? Is there any one section that has more stars than the other? Like that has like an incredible amount of stars? Uh, Texas is doing well, okay. which is, which is oddly enough, I, you know, I, I didn't know there'd be as many Texas folks here. I know there's Texas loves country music, but right. sometimes a lot of Texas folks are kind of like this towards Nashville. Right, right. So it's cool to see that kind of all coming back together. You're seeing a lot of Texas sounds come too. You know, mm -hmm. Eli Young Band's done well for, for years, right. but like Josh Abbott's making the radio, Randy Rogers, guys that I really like. I really like that Red Dirt sound. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that that's kind of cool. The Southeast obviously is is pretty loaded. Mm -hmm. um, but then you're getting some some New England, New York, yeah. Jersey stuff and, and uh, out West, Northern California, yeah. Washington yeah. State. Um, Oregon even so yeah. it's been I've seen a lot of California here this week yes yeah, that's that's, uh, that's pretty cool too yeah. which I like I like California too I mean, yeah. I'm John Party's a buddy and, and uh -huh. he's a California boy and, yep. and uh, you know it's, Tyler Rich is too he's a yeah, California boy yeah, yep. yeah. that's fun I know I just moved here from California so really yeah All right on I'm a SoCal girl you know, but I love it here. I think it's way, way well, more it's, fun it's, for me. It's a lot cooler this year than yeah. you would expect. You kind of right. Got, <laughs> yeah, last year it was uh, you know lava yeah. every yeah, day. It was. You know, it was. No need to shower because you're just gonna sweat as soon as you step outside. So. <laughs> it was funny last year. Last year we walked up. Uh, that might have been the, the tequila too. <laughs> <laughs> but last year we walked up Broadway and I went to go get um, one of those Mike's ice cream things and like. Couldn't even walk a few steps outside. The damn thing was just melting just, all over just the fall place. Right off your and I was like, dang it. I made a yeah, mistake. Yeah. yeah. It was really like, man, this wasn't really a good idea, but I really wanted it so bad. But no, the, the weather here is beautiful. It's great. Oh, but, it feels awesome today. but let's talk about your music. What do you have yeah. coming up? What's going on? Oh, wait. What? Where did I put it? It's in, the, it's in that bag right there. Oh, I think. look at I'm so dumb, you guys. You guys all know me, and it's all Boom. good. Boom. There it is. That's your new new CD. Brand and I new love record. It. Hot yes. off the press. And I got a copy. That's right. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about that. What, what was your inspiration for this? When did it come out, and what do you got going on with it? Uh, the single came out April 25th. Uh, the album came out May 26th. So uh, it's only been out a couple weeks. Right, right. Um, been been touring a lot and getting ready to, to really push. The rest of the summer is crazy with festivals and touring and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited about that. I'm really, really excited to get the new music out. Uh, it's, right. it's some of the best stuff I've ever written. And... Uh, Matt McClure produced it, who produces a lot of folks in town. He does. And, uh, I've heard his name so much in our So our even last... if the songs don't sound good to you, it's going to, you know, sonically, <laughs> sonically. It's, it's going to be great. And here it yeah, is, you can... just so you guys can see, right there. And and you have bonus tracks on here. Which yeah, I the like. hard copy has two mm -hmm. bonus tracks that you can only get on the hard copy. So you can find those at my website, yeah. mattrogerscountry.com. Or, uh, or you can catch it at a live show. Uh, the other six on the EP are, are available everywhere online. iTunes, Absolutely. Amazon, Google, Spotify, all of that jazz. But you see this right here. You always want the hard copy. Always look for the hard copy, folks, because when you get the bonus tracks on there, it's just so much more special, I think. Yeah, it's so much know, fun. You want it, you want it to be... Uh, you know, you want it to be some to let people in to see who right. you are as a person. Right. Absolutely. And that's what that project's all about. To narrow it down, I mean, there's eight songs on there mm -hmm. with the bonus tracks. Right. And I, I mean, I wrote 140 in the last year and a half. So Gosh. narrowing it down to that amount was was pretty tough, but it was mm -hmm. fairly easy at the same time because I wanted folks to know who I was as an artist, but I also right. wanted folks to know who I was as a person. So right. I think Absolutely. that's a, a collective project that kind of does that. It's kind of, hey, here I am, world, yeah. and, and I hope you guys like it. So. so it tells a story. It tells who you are, you know, and gives people a glimpse into your world. Sure. But, but I have to I have to say, you know, you mentioned you wrote 140 songs, and I often hear that, you know, artists have a huge catalog of material that they've written. Are some of those songs 
personal to the point where you would never even consider releasing them? Because I, I got to believe that there's probably a few on there for everybody that they've written something so personal that they just keep so sacred for themselves. Do you have any well, of those? Well, I think not really. Uh, okay. I, I enjoy the honesty between between mm -hmm. listeners and, and myself, especially when it's in an intimate setting like, uh, like the Bluebird or, or something where right. it's a listening room type event. Um, there's actually a song on that record called She Was Everything that's one of the most honest songs I've ever written. It was kind of tough to write. Um, so I, I enjoy letting people into that. I mean, if, if you ever, people are drawn to, to genuality. I mean, right. yes. uh, if, if, you, if you ever needed proof of that, look at a Taylor Swift song. She's yeah. not afraid to put anything no, out there. No, she's not. And, and that pe folks love it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, I think that's important. If you yeah. try, you can only be yourself in this business uh, or it's not going to work. So Absolutely. Uh, that's how I try to be. Well, good for you. I love that. I love hearing that. You know, and it's I love asking that question because I never know what I'm going to get from from people. And you know, some people have told me, yeah, there are songs that are so emotional that they've written they can't even sing themselves. You know, that they're just they're just so personal they're not ready to share it with the world. I'm, so. I'm such a sucker for good songwriters, though. So yeah. when you have a song that's got that much emotion and that much mm -hmm. raw power to it, uh, you know, some of my favorite artists in town. There's a girl named Ashley McBride that's a friend of mine, and I mm -hmm. think she is probably the most talented song writer that's in town and she's kind mm -hmm. of breaking through as an artist right now she's got a song on the highway and mm -hmm. she's doing some some cool stuff been out on the road with with brothers osborne and, and those guys but she's got a song about her dad called bible in a 44 that is right. one of the best country songs that i've ever heard yeah. i mean it really is that good so um i, I like that i like folks yeah. giving you a glimpse into their life and letting yeah. you share that emotion whether it be Absolutely. pain or happiness or or love or heartbreak i, I love i love that that's that's great and i love that you're supporting other artists and that you're giving them shouts out and you know crediting them for their work and and, and you know talent because that's so amazing you know that that Nashville does that and you know there's so many artists here that just we talk about it all the time they they just uplift others and they credit others and so hearing that from you too you know it's just it just makes it more real you know we talk about it all the time but the fans the fans can see it when you do that and well, I, I think this it. is the the only genre that really does it and yep. I don't understand why why there isn't so, okay. sure there's subsets that may be feud but like anything if you look at some other you know hip-hop or yeah or pop or there's always a feud going right. on right and, and in this in this genre we're just so accepting there's room for everybody mm -hmm. there's there's plenty of music to be made there's plenty yep. of songs to write and uh it, the, I don't understand why you would ever want to not right. support someone else this this opening right. their soul to the world and right. sharing their their Yep. story so and, and I think that's why we're all here that's why CMA Fest is so huge the artists get to connect to the fans the fans get to connect to the artists you know it's just it's amazing well, it's artists good. get to connect to other artists too yeah. which is a cool yeah. thing but now you know country music's got the best fans plain and yep. simple plain and simple they're the best fans that there are they're the most supportive they're the most engaged they're the ones that buy the music they're the ones that yeah. come to the show and that's why you do it yeah what's your favorite part about CMA Fest watching the fans yeah, I, I really like seeing uh, folks light up when, when they see something special mm -hmm. happen. Yeah, and that, there's a lot of that that happens. There's yep. a lot of people that, that it's not planned. Folks will join folks on stage, yep. uh, you know, especially at the big show. I mean, last yeah. year, Mary Morris was just kind of making her right. way, and, and Rascal Flatts called her out. I mean, it was just one of those special yeah. moments, and you can tell how special it was for her, but it was also the crowd was just they, yeah, they get. They got more mm -hmm. than they than they bargained for, and that's Absolutely. what this whole this whole event's about. You get more than you bargain yeah. for. I, I think one of my favorite parts too is watching the children carrying around the guitars, right. hoping for that next signature, and right. the look, the the smiles on their faces, and the pure joy that they yeah, have. And <laughs> and you never know what kid out there has already got their songs going in their head. They're already writing down on their little journals, you know, and they just want to be the next star. You can see that distinct moment yeah. when, when the light bulb comes on for, yeah. for some of the youngsters, you know, they're like, I want to do this. Yeah, and so for me, that's my favorite part, is witnessing those moments, just watching those sure. kids light up. It's just yeah. amazing. But anyways, all right, well, we know you have a busy schedule. Is there anything man. else you want to tell the fans before we go? Uh, not really, man. I, I just appreciate everyone out there and just yeah. keep supporting music, whether it be me or anyone else. Right. Uh, there's there's a lot of incredible talent mm -hmm. in this town. There's a lot of incredible talent out there, period. And uh, it's, it's really been a great journey for me. Absolutely. And we are committed to keep bringing you that amazing talent. So check him out. Follow him on social media. And until next time, guys, stay tuned. See ya.